Are you so excited to sit in the trap on the way home? I can't wait to go through this and then go home in the traffic. I can't wait. <laughs> I'm so glad. <laughs> Mum and I in our nice big suitcase. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> it's a little bit broken. Okay. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> Mum and I in our big suitcases. Sage in her cute little suitcase. This is giving Sage is going back home to Australia. <laughs> Except we go with you this time. <laughs> Mandatory. Sorry. No, 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 it's okay, you can eat. <laughs> Mandatory pre-flight feed. Welcome to Sydney. How was the landing? <laughs> Shocking. <laughs> but we're here and it's 9.30, like Sydney time, so 11.30 New Zealand time. We're just waiting for our Uber to go to the hotel. The CRC, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it needs more than that. Welcome Emma Stevens. That's a bit cool. Truth be told, I was actually meant to be coming here with Morgan, but... <laughs> That's why it's under my name. Good morning. <laughs> View off our balcony. I am vlogging on the old G7X today because my big camera doesn't fit in my bag. We are in walking attire. We are going to do the Bondi to Coogee walk today because the weather is not looking great for the next few days. But today is supposed to be the best. It's not going to be great, but it's going to be the best. At first stop, we're going to have breakfast at this place called AP Bakery, which was recommended to me by a lot of people, actually. Mom. What have you got, Mum? Um, I can't remember, but it's good. Custard bread, wasn't it? Yeah. Sage has got avocado toast. And I have got an avocado bagel. We went to get Mum's coffee, and we asked for a... What were we asking for? A trim, trim mocha. And the guy looked at us, and he's like, trim? And we're like... Trim and he's like skim and we're like yeah and he's like where are you from? We're like mm, New Zealand and he's like <laughs> So just ready to go. <laughs> We've just got to Coogee Beach and we're gonna start the Coogee. We're gonna do it. I don't know if there's a proper way of doing it, but it's meant to be six kilometers one way. So rather than doing it like from Bondi to Coogee and back to Bondi, we're just doing the Coogee to Bondi part. So it's gonna take two to three hours, but I reckon it'll take us like an hour. It's only six k. That's like two k's an hour. <laughs> it's taking us three hours. So the first bin chicken. <laughs> Right next to the bin. It is 1.30 and we have come to Blackwood Pan. Oh, this is just called Blackwood. It's just called Blackwood in Bondi, which in all honesty, I'm here on Sarah's Day's recommendation. So this better be good. We're not super hungry. We're still kind of full from our breakfast this morning. So we've got a poke bowl and some chips. We're just going to share between all three of us. Okay, these are the truffle fries. This is this prawn poke bowl. I was kind of disappointed when we arrived because I had obviously looked at the menu before we came, but the menu on the website was completely different to what they had when we got here. But it looks good. really good. And I'm not really a huge fan of prawns. I kind of got this for everything else that comes in the bowl. I'll eat at least one of them. Yum. Oh my gosh. That's so good. That was a solid 11 out of 10. We're eating like absolute champions so far. We're ordering an Uber and we're going to go to Bondi Junction. Is that right? Yeah, we're going to go pay. We're going to go pay for our food. <laughs> Country road, and I'm just trying on some things in the sales section. I like this denim skirt. I have got my bike shorts on underneath it right now, but it's just it's just a little bit too big. Like it just does that weird like gapey thing at the back. This little rugby jersey. Yeah, I am. Rugby jersey. I feel like it needs a button though. Like 
Yeah, you can, um, in here you can come in if you want. Showing the vlog. What do you think? The skirt's too big, so that's a no. What do you think about the top? Yeah, I don't mind it. I like it. I feel like it's something that I would have worn in like year 12 though. Because <laughs> I was worried because it doesn't have a button, but it still sits. It sits alright. It sits nice, yeah. yeah. Okay, sold. We've moved on to Alexander, and mum has found me my very own Leo, Leo Leclerc. Leclerc. <laughs> <laughs> that dog has been more places than me in its life. These are so cute. Consider it sold. And you're like 40% off. I'm in cotton on now, trying on jeans. I have these ones on. They're not baggy, but they're not. They're just. They're just there. I want to try the next size up and to see if that helps. These are better, but then they're like they've got the awkward like at the back. Trying on jeans is actually the worst thing ever. I actually can't even tell where my shorts end and my top starts. These are two for twenty, so I think I'm gonna grab a couple of these as well because I just wear them all the time. We have returned back. <coughs> to the hotel, it is quarter to six. It ended up being out a lot longer than we thought and we kind of, we didn't really have anything that we wanted to look at specifically at Bondi Junction, but we'd be like, oh, let's go to like this shop and then we'd like walk to that shop and then we'd see like other shops on the way. And um, anyway, I ended up making some purchases. I'll give you guys a little haul. First up, we went into Uniqlo. Just a white button up shirt, which if you watched my previous video, I didn't get one. I did get one this time. Also got just a plain white men's because apparently these are meant to be really nice just a white box tea and I've never shopped at Uniqlo before and these self checkouts were quite an experience you just throw your items into this basket and then it just automatically figures out like what you are buying then we went into Country Road yes oh that's upside down rugby jersey style shirt and also oh that's wrapped up that little purple mug which was like 25% off I have a pink one of these mugs and a blue one and I've decided I'm just gonna like collect like most of the colors that I could have lots of different colors. Peter Alexander, they had a sale, which I think the lady said it literally started today. So it was good timing for us going in there and I wasn't oh, wrapped up in my little pouch. I got to the counter and they had some glass house car diffusers, so they refilled on sale. I got three of those. Then we went to Cotton On and I got two for $20 on the tank top, which is like the same style as this tank top on which you're wearing right now. Went into Lululemon, and this is my first time ever shopping at Lululemon. I haven't bought anything from them because, well, they're expensive. And also, I was saying to Sage, I have a problem with uh, putting like built-in bras into tops. It is the iconic jacket that every man and his dog has. I tried on one that was like, the same thing in Lorna Jane, and it was like fleecy on the inside, which was really nice but it was more expensive and I thought this one just fit a little bit nicer. I wasn't the only one that made purchases. What did you get, Mum? A little bag from... Country Road. Country Road bag. Where she is. Very it. nice. And you bought some tights I from, from Lorna Jane as well. <laughs> Pajamas and two new little crops. Oh, um, those are nice. We um, are just putting our feet up because we have walked. Hang on, I was looking on my watch. 16,000 steps. 16,000 steps? Is that that's, what? That's what I'm guessing for you. Oh, 17,007 steps. So 12.53 kilometers we've walked today. Granted, that was including the Bondi to Coogee walk. Wait, Coogee. how many kilometers? 12.53. Oh, 12.5. We're going to go down to the rocks and have dinner at this Mexican place because Sage Hancock's is craving some Mexican food. <laughs> I haven't been able to stop, stop talking about Mexican for so long. <laughs> I'm gonna go and get her her Mexican fix. I'm just gonna chill out because I think we're all pretty tired. <laughs> just the Dinner was great. It felt like we were in a nightclub eating our Mexican food. And then we were gonna go through for a walk like through the Botanic Gardens tonight, but you kind of have to like book and then the last entry was at 9 p.m. and we weren't sure if we were gonna make it there. So we just decided to take our time and walk like around from the rocks to the opera house, like around Circular Key, which was really nice. But we we're all very tired. We stopped at the convenience store that's like at the bottom of our hotel and I got some Reese's peanut butter cups. $4.95 for these. Tomorrow, Sage's mum and sister are driving up, or well not driving up, coming from the bus from Canberra and they're staying here tomorrow night as well. These be the best tasting peanut butter cups I've ever had in my life. 
Mm, not bad. Nine o'clock and we're gonna go and grab some breakfast. We're trying to find a breakfast place to go to, but most of the places that people have recommended to me are like quite far away from the hotel we're staying at. At 10 o'clock, we are going to the bus train station where Sage's mum and sister are arriving from Canberra. This is the room that Sage's mum and sister are staying in and it's on the same floor as us, which is so cute. We checked in for them yesterday. We came in and like turned off the lights and stuff, but we're gonna turn the lights back on and like turn the TV back on. Yum. A smoked salmon rosti for mum and I and some fruit. And Sage has a chia pudding. Is it good? We've had breakfast and it was another solid, solid breakfast place. We're just in Coles at the moment. Um, doing a little bit of shopping. Here. We're going on like a little boat cruise thing tonight for Vivid to look at the lights on like the Sydney Harbour. I've stocked up in that little corner there on Keep It Cleaner protein bars. I tried them when we came to Aussie in June last year and you can't get them in New Zealand. And I literally emailed their customer service I'm like, can you please bring this to New Zealand? <laughs> hey! <laughs> this is our shopping. And I had to carry it like this because it's got like cans in the bottom of it and I don't want the bag to like give way. We had some chips, some salt and vinegar popcorn, raspberries, $4.50 for a pound of raspberries in June. A little bunch of bananas, these were expensive though, that was like five bucks for five bananas. Cans, almost broke the bag and pods because if you know, you know. I'm stocked up on protein bars for the rest of my day. It's quarter to 11, so we're just gonna hang low for the next like half an hour and then we're gonna Uber out to Alexandria to go to the grounds which is where we're having lunch. We are back at the hotel just had an outfit change and we're like why am I sitting on this? Yeah, let's just put the feet on the floor where they belong. But yes we are back at the hotel we went to the grounds place for lunch and it was so the grounds is known for having really cool setups. They do it on like a quarterly basis and they, wow, that was so business. They swap out the different things at the like cafe area. So Sage and her family went in like Christmas time. It was a Christmas candy cane kind of theme. Then they've just had Fiesta, I think Sage said, and now they're currently doing Circus, which was so cool. They have like the part we can walk through, which we walked through with our umbrellas in the rain, which would have been so nice if the sun was shining, but that's okay. And we went into the cafe for lunch. We also got donuts from like inside the like circus part. Honestly, I'm about to make a big claim. Best donut I think I've ever had in my life. It was so good, like fresh, they literally deep fry it in front of you. And then cinnamon coated, and my one had Nutella in it, which is so tasty. We into the cafe for lunch and had the, like we were all like, the meals were massive, like they were so big. I got a buttermilk fried chicken burger sandwich thing. Literally could only eat half of it. Come back to the hotel and it is absolutely pouring down outside. In about 10 minutes we're gonna go and do a bit of shopping and then we have to be down at Darling Harbour at 5 o'clock to jump on the cruise to go for a cruise around the harbour and look at the lights. Welcome to this stunning city weather. I can't even extend my arm fully because my camera's gonna get soaked. It's actually chucking it down right now and has been all afternoon, all day. Loki flooding. Uh, but we're making our way walking down to Darling Harbour to jump on the ferry to look at the lights. How are we guys? We're wet. <laughs> As you can see the weather's really nice. It's stunning. So beautiful. So guys, how's how's the cruise going? I love it. I'm, I'm loving it. <laughs> it's so good. It's probably, the best, the, probably the best cruise I've ever been on. <laughs> How are the lights? The lights are top tier. 10 out of 10. I would highly recommend coming back and doing this the second session tonight actually. My eyes are watering. I don't know if I'm laughing or crying. Do you want to explain it to what's actually happened? The live show was cancelled. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're just on a boat for no reason. Do you have anything to say about no. it? No. I'm just glad it was cheap. <laughs> we're back at the hotel after our amazing cruise to see all the beautiful lights. Mum only bought one pair of shoes and they are very wet. Very wet. But we've ordered Uber Eats for dinner. We're getting fish bowl, which I'm so excited about. We were gonna go out to a restaurant, but we were all just wet and not really in the mood. So anyway, Ezekiel's on his way on his bicycle. He's six minutes away with our fish bowl. So excited. Good morning, I just actually got out of the shower, but so exciting stay here until the vlog. <laughs> it's blue sky. <laughs> Guys, look! Oh my gosh, it is stunning. What are we gonna do today? I don't know. 
I don't know either because we thought it was gonna be raining. We're out on the move in the streets. We've had breakfast. Sage, how was your breakfast? Um, it was actually pretty good. I would rate it a nine out of ten. Nine out of ten. I ditched the, the fairy floss that looks like here. Yeah. How was your guys' breakfast? It was delicious. Ten out of ten. Yummy. It is two o'clock and we've just dropped. Sage's mum and sister off at the bus. Mum, what was your, where are you? What was your one request for this trip? To go to Koi. So where are we going right now? Koi. It is a dessert bar cafe type thing. So we're gonna go there for kind of afternoon tea, I guess. What were your thoughts on Koi? Nice. Nice, did it meet or exceed your expectations? It met my expectations. Didn't exceed them? Um, no, the hesitation no, means no. no. I think it was what I was expecting. Okay, well that's yeah. good, that's good. Koi was amazing. I'd kind of like, if you've been to Mian in Auckland before, it's kind of like that, but just like a little bit more fancy. It was very tasty though. We got three different cakes and then shared them between us and I got a hot chocolate, which was really good. It is like five o'clock and we're going to get some dinner now before we head down to the Botanic Gardens with the lights. And we're going for Japanese. Who's surprised, because I'm not. We've had our 10 out of 10 dinner at the Japanese restaurant and we're down at the Circular Quay now. So stoked to see that the lights are turned on tonight. It must be awesome to watch that from a boat. We wouldn't know. But we're walking towards the Botanic Gardens now because we're going to go to the little light skateboard. This is what we're looking at. The Harbour Bridge. Oh, not the Harbour Bridge. Opera House. Which is so... Oh, there we go. Opera House. Harbour Bridge. Mum's here. Sage is here. Done. What was your favorite installation? Tulips. Oh, same. Yeah. <laughs> we are wandering out of the gardens now and we are heading over to the other side of like the city, the other side of Circular Quay basically, to go to the Winyard Tunnels, which is another oh. installation thing. We're back at the hotel. We went to the supermarket on the way back to the room because we wanted hot donuts but we couldn't be bothered walking to find them so we knew we could get them at the supermarket so we just went straight to the supermarket there's a little haul for you guys got some more raspberries we got some mochi which we're going to taste here shortly because have you ever had mochi mum? yeah i haven't had mochi so got some of those to try we have a six pack of cinnamon donuts which will be going straight in the microwave some pods to take home and a couple of chocolates which we don't have in new zealand we've got strawberry mango and black sesame flavored mochi. I have no idea what to expect. Mmm, those are really good raspberries. Yum. Okay, mom, are you ready to try some mochi? All right, Sage, which one do you want first? I'll try a strawberry. I'm gonna go mango. Yeah, I'm cold in my tooth. Not bad. Let's go strawberry next. Oh, that's my rasher. Yum. But it's just me now. Oh, that's weird. A little picnic. Yum. Strawberry one's better, you reckon? No. Oh. <laughs> okay. I should have added a tripod to my list of things to buy while I was here. Do you want some of these Oh, yo. Good morning. I just brushed my teeth. They taste so bad. <laughs> Welcome to day four in Sydney. We're also going home today, so we're just getting ready to check out. It is quarter past nine. We don't have to be out of the hotel until 12, but we're about to go down to Circular Quay and catch the ferry across to Manly for the morning. And we're just, we're probably not going to be back in time for 12, so we're going to check out and leave our bags down at reception. So when we come back from Manly, we just collect our bags, go to the airport and go home. I'm just about to see if my suitcase is actually going to close. Stupid puppy jacket. Oh <laughs> Great, it's probably... Nah, if I can lift it, it can't be overweight. Let's go to Manly. Welcome to Circular Key. <laughs> Very quick trip to Manly, so much so that I didn't even get my camera out of my bag. But we're on the boat, about to go back over to Circular Quay. It was a very successful time at Manly, wasn't it, Sage? Yep, thoroughly <laughs> doing it. Sage has been trying to find a sports girl that's open for like the last four days, <laughs> and we finally found one today. So she managed to get the $20 denim skirt she was after. I have the bag of shopping down here. I bought a skirt, some linen pants, and a pair of jeans. We also went to Butterboy Cookies and bought a couple cookies, so we'll try those later, because we just had like, fun. 
boat. We're at the airport, we've gone through security and we're just waiting at our gate for our plane. We've got 40 minutes to boarding start. But here are our cookies from Butter Boy at Manly. So this one is a Nutella chocolate chip and this one this is salted caramel macadamia. I think you're meant to eat them hot when you first get them, but they're cold now. Oh wow, this is two vlogs in a row that I've had Nutella filled cookies. Can't tell. I really like Nutella. Basically this whole trip we've been eating based off recommendations from you guys. And the recommendations have been so solid. We have eaten so well and all the food has been so good. Anyway, I suppose I better wrap up the vlog since all we're doing now is getting on a plane and going home. So thanks for coming with us to Sydney for the past four days. It's been a great time. Eaten well, we've seen the sights. Kind of seen the sights anyway. This, the lights not, might not have been on but we still saw the sights. Thanks for watching. Stay safe, stay well, make someone smile and we'll see you in my next video. I've knocked the belly button, I can't. <laughs> oh my gosh.